Hi everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen. I'm Zach Karunian. I'm the kitchen cook instructor at Erskine Green Training Institute. And today we are going to be doing over easy eggs. Now many of you have tuned in for our last three videos on hard boiled eggs, poached eggs, and scrambled eggs. This will be our last egg video and we are going to do over easy or fried eggs. So for those of you that have participated in the last few videos, you know that our first steps are to gather our kitchen equipment and gather our ingredients. So I have my recipe pulled up again on my computer. If you'd like to pull up this recipe and follow along with it as I'm going through making these eggs, feel free to do so. Uh, with these eggs, um, we do not need as much equipment or as ingredients as we have in the past. So we only need two eggs. I have my two eggs here. We need a tablespoon of butter. I have stick butter. Margarine butter will work too. You can see here on the stick butter that you have one tablespoon and this line here. So if I cut this right here and use everything from here over, that's going to be one tablespoon of butter. If you do not have stick butter, if you have margarine or I can't believe it's not butter or something along those lines, you can use a tablespoon measuring spoon. Make sure it says tablespoon. TBS is tablespoon to measure out your margarine and you can use that instead. So I also have salt and pepper to season my eggs. So those are all the ingredients I need to make these over easy eggs. Now I need to gather my equipment. So of course we need the stove. Daniel said I can use a stove one more time. So thank you, Daniel. We need a spatula. Got my spatula. We need a small or medium frying pan. I have a medium sized frying pan. A small one will work just fine because we're only doing two eggs. And of course, a plate and some utensils to eat with when our eggs are done. So now that we have all of our ingredients gathered and we have all of our kitchen equipment ready, we are set to go and make these over easy eggs. So I'm going to pull up my recipe again and start with number one on my directions. So now that we're ready to get started, my first direction says to place my pan on the stove, which I have already done, and set it to a medium heat. Okay, so I have my stove set to medium heat. It's a five on this stove. So remember, your stove may not look like this one. So if you need to ask for help, ask somebody for help. Mom or dad can help, brother or sister can help. If you have a friend over, they can help as well. So just make sure to ask somebody if you're unsure what the correct temperature is on your stove. So number two says to add one tablespoon of butter and let it melt. So again, I showed you guys this earlier. My one tablespoon is just going to be this square right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a butter knife, which works just fine. And I'm just going to cut right into the paper with the butter. It goes through fairly smoothly. Be careful not to scratch your kitchen counter. You get to the end, you can just break it off just like that so you don't scratch the counter. Now I'm going to peel off the paper. I'm just going to toss the butter right in the pan. You can see it moving around, starting to melt a little bit. While that's melting, I'm going to rinse my hands off. Okay, so I've washed my hands after touching that butter. Now our third step is to come over and move the butter around by grabbing just the handle of the pan. Don't grab the pan, don't grab this part of the pan because those parts will get hot. But you can see I'm moving the butter around the pan trying to coat the entire bottom of the pan. Once the entire bottom of the pan is coated, I can set this back on the heat source and let that sit until all of the butter has melted. So when all of that butter has melted, I'm going to crack my two eggs directly into the pan. So my butter has completely melted in this pan. You can see it's coating the entire bottom of the pan. So now it's safe for me to crack my two eggs. Remember, we want to be gentle, but kind of a little rough at the same time. Give it enough to break a crack in the side of the egg, just like that. Stick your thumbs in the egg and just let them drop. And the next thing you want to do is you want to coat these eggs with salt. But again, I'm going to wash my hands off because I just touched eggs. So once my eggs are in the pan, the next thing I want to do is I want to put a tiny 
a little bit of salt on top. So I'm doing one twist. Um, you might have a salt shaker at home. Just shake it a couple times on top of each egg to season it to make sure that it's nice and seasoned. Now you can see that the eggs are starting to turn white. They're starting to bubble a little bit. However, you can still kind of see through the eggs, which means they're not ready to be flipped yet. So once our eggs are all the way white and we can't see through them, we are gonna flip them over and let them cook for about one more minute. So this should take approximately two minutes on this side and then one more minute on the other side. Okay, so our eggs have been cooking for about two minutes now on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep them on the heat source and I'm going to break them apart down the middle so it's easier to flip. And then I'm just gonna scoop the egg and quickly flip it over just like that. Scoop the egg, quickly flip it over and try not to break the yolk. Now I'm gonna let this cook for about 30 seconds to another minute. And I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper here. Okay, so my eggs have been cooking for about 30 seconds now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat off because these are still cooking while they're sitting on this hot pan. So I'm going to remove it from the heat source and I'm going to quickly but carefully get these eggs off of the heat so that they don't cook all the way through so that the yolk is still nice and runny in the middle of the egg. Now I'm not going to take a bite of this one because this just came out of the hot pan, but I am going to crack open the middle so you can see what it's supposed to look like in the middle. So when you are done with your over easy or fried eggs, the middle should look just like that. Nice and runny. This goes really well with toast, just like the poached egg did last week. You know what? I don't care if it's hot. I'm still going to take a bite. Really good. Thanks for stopping by, guys.